Hello. Hello. Happy Valentine's Day. Part two. In case you actually saw the previously posted part two, you now understand why friends don't let friends craft drunk. And apparently we didn't have a designated crafter on hand. No, no. It rookie move. We're actually going to attempt once again to show you a spectacular Valentine's craft that you can create at home with just bits and pieces of things you have laying around the house. And booze. And booze. Mm -hmm. And as we do in every episode of Glitter, Glue, and Gluttony, we will have a delicious homemade repast of fine, delectable snackerills and alcohol. And Carrie will explain to you what the snackerill and alcoholic drink of the day are while we begin our spectacular craft, which is making love potion bottles. So you can put a shot of alcohol in here. Mm -hmm. You can put little red hot candies. Yes. Anything you'd like your love to have. Valentine's Day is all about love and chocolate and bacon. So our snack is chocolate covered bacon. Most especially bacon. Yes. So this lovely item is thick cut bacon covered in chocolate and topped with pecans and bacon bits. And then what is Valentine's Day without conversation hearts? Yes, read something. It's like fortune cookies, but you don't have to unwrap them. No way. Mine says first kiss. <gasps> oh. Our drink, speaking of kisses, is called the Pucker Up Cupid. Mmm, and it is delicious. It's kind of puckery, but it has orange vodka, cranberry juice, lemonade. And if you have it while you still have a conversation heart in your mm -hmm. mouth, mmm. Or when you're licking chocolate off your hands, mmm-hmm. We just take some little bottles, which I happen to procure at one of our local yard sales. Um, they were 10 cents a piece, so I bought an entire box full of them, spent like two bucks, and cleaned them out because you really don't want to put conversation hearts or candy inside of them, or even alcohol inside of them, not knowing what's been in them before. You don't want to poison anyone. No, no. Unless you really do want to poison someone, we didn't tell you to do that. In which case, put some <laughs> gummy cherries in there that have been soaked in vodka. Much yep. as we had in our last episode. Be careful with those, really. Caused Be careful a with those. Serious problem. But you know, I learned that Cher's floor is really comfortable. It's all good. Oh, shame. I have just taken a little bit of sheet music here because I used to play the piano and I don't anymore. So I have some sheet music laying around. I just snipped it with some fancy dancy um, scissors that are craft scissors for scrapbooking. So you get a pretty little decorative edge there. But you can do just regular scissors. You might want to just rip them to have that, you know, more urban, urban. look. I too am going to use sheet music. I, I too once played the piano when I was like five years old. I did a couple of recitals. Luckily, I don't think they had videotape back then. It was when dinosaurs roamed the earth, but I'm sure it was not very good. Sometimes you make mistakes when you don't really plan out your crafting. It's just a bump in the crafting highway. We took some little ephemera out of magazines. We cut some little words. This one says, sometimes, because that could mean so much, or so little. It could mean anything. And sometimes. <laughs> this one says, fashion rule number one, ignore fashion rules. Ooh, your bottle's going to be fashion. That's how I roll. We're using some Martha Stewart glue here, which I've already gotten off for me. <laughs> I still don't know how this happens. If Every you time. have seen any episode of our show before, you'll know that Carrie cannot make a craft without being covered completely in glue. I can't. And glitter head to toe. I don't know. I, it's one of my endearing qualities. This glue's really good. <laughs> Because it doesn't come, it come out as quickly. Is this the uh, craft hard glue? That's yes. the, that's the beginner's glue, <laughs> also by Martha Stewart. She knows. Martha knows me. We're also going to take some, you know, sticky bits of things. Yes. I don't know what that means yet? <laughs> sticky bits of things. Yeah, I got some stickers over at our local craft store. Just some little Valentine's themed stickers. They look kind of like, you won an award. Hello! Hello. You win! You, you win some love! You win some love. And then there are all sorts of cool beads and earrings and things in this bowl that can be attached. Little to. bowl of bedazzlements. Yeah. If you ever, you know, lose an earring, don't throw that other one away. Hold on to it because you could stick it to something later. Knowing me, you can just stick it to me. 
Or I'll stick it to myself. It'll be stuck somewhere. Oh, look how that's coming along. Oh, that's a full. You can make them as simple or as complicated as you like. But I'm not a very complicated person. I would like to explain how to make the drinks. Pucker up Cupid. My little hat is falling. For each drink, an ounce and a half of orange vodka. Use some good orange vodka. I used Kettle One, which I procured at BevMo, one of my favorite stores. It's like, it's like a boozy Disneyland for people like me. And by people like me, I mean Lushes. Ounce and a half of orange vodka into a shaker. You want to add about an ounce and a half of pink lemonade, and then add another ounce and a half of cranberry juice. You want to shake that up, get it nice and mixed, and then pour that into a glass of ice and top it off with a little bit of Sprite. And that is your Pucker Up Cupid. Cheers! Cheers! Happy Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine's Day! Come tell here, them, Cupid. Mm. Tell them about the bacon, because that's my favorite part. All right, the bacon. It is thick cut bacon. You want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. I like to cook bacon in the oven because it's a little less messy that way. Lay your bacon out, put it in the oven, cook it for 20 minutes. You want to make sure it's crispy because it needs to hold up to the chocolate. I will give you all of these uh, on our Facebook page, but I'm just going to tell you anyway. Melt the chocolate in a double boiler. Then when your bacon is out, let it cool a little bit, stiffen up, dip it in chocolate. Cool it on some wax paper. Simple, so simple, yet so delicious. So delicious. Oh, conversation heart time. Okay. We have no idea what this says. <laughs> head, head for you. Head for you. <laughs> I take that as you will. Well, mine says mad for you, so maybe that's mad. Either way, it's kind of scary. Who knows? Like stalker hearts. I'm covered in glue. Anyway, just, hey, I'm just gonna say it. If you want to make it even easier and you don't want to use as much glue because you're glue impaired, <laughs> I'm glue challenged. <laughs> you can buy sticker paper at the um, Staples or the mm -hmm. Office Depot. Mm -hmm. Go onto your computer and print off whatever pretty pictures you would like. Like this one is a little picture of the Eiffel Tower because I'm doing a little French themed oh, one right here, I me. think. And then you don't even have to glue it all. You just put the sticker right on there. Pretty spectacular. That is spectacular. I'm starting to see what my problem is. But more that many <laughs> years of therapy. Yes. I need years to go to like G A Glue Anonymous. See, you'll notice that she got the glue that you can't have. That's right. Because that also has been a problem in the past. Yes. Burn me once. That's right. Shame on you. Burn me twice. Shame on me. You know, I just don't want to get called in one day and say, "Did you provide Miss Duche with?" said glue. Well, what do you mean provide? <laughs> Was it in a locked cabinet? Right. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I could probably just lick the glue off my hands. I think ultimately the uh, one thing to remember when making any kind of a craft is always use the buddy system. Yes, in case things go horribly awry. <laughs> yes. Do not want to just be found dead <laughs> in a pool of glue. <laughs> or glitter. And glitter. I, I will be... tell you that after I woke up from part one, no, I glue of my hair. Uh, part one of Valentine's Day, I was covered in uh, glue and glitter. That's all I get. Festive. Way to go. <laughs> oh, crafting. Dangers of crafting. I, I also want to uh, tell you about our food craft. When you're making your chocolate covered bacon, you'll find that you might have some leftover chocolate in your double boiler. So you might look around your cabinets and think, what do I have? What that do I, I can have? coat in chocolate? Which pretty much is anything. I had strawberry pop tarts. I thought, what is better for my Valentine love than a heart-shaped strawberry pop tart coated in chocolate? Although if you were to try to coat something in chocolate from my cupboards, <laughs> your choices would pretty much be limited to, oh, I don't know, bottled water. maybe <laughs> a little bit of bottled water and a can of Aunt Penny's white sauce. Oh. Who knows how long that's been in there. Yeah, I don't think that ever goes bad. What does I what does know. it ever go good? What I what do you use Aunt Penny's white know. sauce for? I actually did just give it away because the post office had one of those food drives. Some poor families out there with just a can of Aunt Penny's white sauce. I wonder if you can use that as glue. I have some pink cupcake icing in a can. Wonderful thing. And you can just decorate your self, self, your or, friends, yeah, just your furniture. Yes. Awesome. How many calories in uh, a serving of squeeze 
cupcake frosting. What's it made out of? It's got like 12 different kinds of sugar. So all the food groups and eight have different presented. kinds of dye. Uh, 150 calories, two tablespoons. Oh, that's right. not bad. Not bad. It's Valentine's that. Day. Lovely little pink and black. Eiffel Towery themed bottle here with a little faceted top. I am now coated in chocolate and glue <laughs> and frosting. I don't want to really lick oh, my fingers because I'm afraid. <laughs> you don't know which is which. Know. It's like glue frosting. I have no the other thing you probably should do, but we never do when we're crafting, is have wet naps. something to clean with, you know, to. I'm just gonna drink. I can contaminate yourself. You with can use your drink. To, a hazmat you know. suit of some kind. We never seem to have those things ready. Maybe that's what I need to do to uh, avoid gluing things to myself. There, see, so then I just put some little uh, flowers oh, on that. the top there, that and now fun. I am ready to maybe put some perfume in this or some face powder, something mm -hmm. dainty. See, I think that um, a good thing to do is take some vodka, put it in a jar or a bottle, uh, put about an inch of Red Hots down on the bottom, let it sit in your refrigerator, shake it occasionally, and there is your cinnamon flavored vodka mm. that you can put in and make it your love potion. Tiny little love potion yes. number nine. Conversation heart. Conversation heart time. Good That's one. First kiss again. Don't tell. That one. That's right. Don't tell. Don't tell. Is there a don't ask? What, what happens at the craft table stays, stays at the, the craft, craft table. table. Dare ya. Dare ya. Dare ya. Double dog, dare you. <laughs> that doesn't fit on the conversation heart. It doesn't. I should make that really up. big ones. I'm going to show you the bottle set we actually crafted at the last crafting extravaganza. And you know, when we actually saw them the next morning when we woke up, we were surprised how good they were. They actually it turned out okay. We didn't remember making them. Actually, just took a cork, an old wine cork, shaped it down mm -hmm. with an X Acto knife, and stuck a vintage plastic ballerina in it. If you happen to have some vintage plastic ballerinas hanging around <laughs> just, at your house. Just sitting around. You can just, keep, oh, oh, you know. Suicidal okay. plastic Suicidal. ballerinas. Yes. That's what they do. They Can't do. Keep a good ballerina. Mm -hmm. She went all black. Yeah, small. she did. Uh-oh. Ah. Ah. All right, there she is. Very nice. This, you'd think that that's a beautiful cork. <laughs> it's not. It's just a glitter bird. It's Carrie glitter somehow bird. just stuck right on top I there. I did, and it stayed there. I love it. Mm -hmm. I think it's spectacular. That's awesome. Even in her drunken stupor, <laughs> she had the forethought to uh, use a little magazine quote that said, the only way to limit the regret we feel for our inadequacy toward one another is consistent and imaginative respect. Wow, I am deep when I am drunk. I love that. That's, that's wonderful. Yeah. In fact, I love it so much, that's what I put on my bottle last time. It says, love that. <laughs> love, love that. that. <laughs> so here is my little bottle. It has some sheet music. It has... A piece of flocked wallpaper, and I have a little tag. And so what I'm gonna put in here is my cinnamon vodka, and I'm gonna write a very sweet love note and say, I love you. Lots of love, 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 love. I hope it wasn't supposed to be a surprise because he's actually <laughs> our he's cameraman. right back there. Oh, we're okay. having too much fun. We are. Well, I think that that just about yes. wraps up our spectacular Valentine's it Day is. glue, glitter, and gluttony part, part two. two. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming and cheers. Oh, cheers. cheers. Should always end with a slurp.